Are you serious? Hello, there are plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Thank you for killing some time with I, Marcus Bronzy. Quick bonus episode here uh, where we're about to find out how Edith Bowman likes to kill some time when she gets some spare time and also what her forthcoming projects are. Coming up is a clip from our brother podcast called Marcus Meets. Uh, It's a show where I meet interesting people, to put it simply. Um, So you can check out the full episode via a link in the show description. But um, in this bonus episode, you know I like to share apps with you before we play a little clip from Marcus Meets. If you've listened to one of these bonus ones before, if you haven't, now you know. Um, I'm going to share one that I've actually, I've spoken about this app on the show before, but I think it's super relevant seeing as there were mass evacuations well, they say it's because of overcrowding. Even if it was a, a scare that they didn't want to worry the public about, there were mass evacuations of train stations that were really full. And in this day and age, there's a whole heap of there's a whole heap of information out there about travel that is relayed in real time. And there are apps out there that can help you decide on your best route home. And you know, a journey home can change from thirty minutes to an hour or even longer depending on whether there's rush hour or not. Especially for people that are trying to travel from just outside of London, into London, or just outside of any city in the UK or world. You know what rush hour is like. And this app called City Mapper works in most of the major cities in the world. And the great thing about it is, is it's so simple to use. It uses your location settings, you type in where you want to go, and it gives you a number of different routes, whether you want to take the bus, tube, train, Subway, whatever you want to call it, cycle with public use cycles. This app tells you how to do all of these things, how long it's going to take, even gives you like combinations of journeys and up to date travel information if there's any sort of delays or if there's issues. Well worth checking before you travel at this time of year when this when this episode drops. It's 2016, it's the 1st of December. We all know the Christmas rush is going to be on. What are you waiting for, man? Like, get this app in your phone, it's free. You can save journeys in it as well. Um, I'm in London, so there's a little button that comes up which gives me local travel details as well. So right now there's delays on the District and Piccadilly line. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, basically it's giving me information about my local area, uh, my local uh, underground service or subway service. So I don't see why the hell you wouldn't want to use this app, man. It's free, like I said. gives you loads of information about how you can get to where you want to get to. I use it when I'm traveling to parts of London or if I'm in Manchester and I don't know where I'm going, I use it. To, I just say to people, look, give me the postcode away. Send me your location. I'll put it in City Mapper, and I'll get to you. People are like, wow, you're so proficient at traveling. I'm like, yeah. But if I'm honest, it's the City Mapper app that's doing 90% of the work for me. It's never really let me down. It's very accurate when it comes to travel times. Try it out. And you can also set it for specific times. So if you want to travel at 5.30 tomorrow, you can put that in and it will give you the information for travel at 5.30 tomorrow. And it's got very good estimates. Um, also works online as well. You can check City Map out on whatever browser you want to use. I happen to use the app because if I'm in the office with a computer, yeah, I might be checking my travel, but I tend to track my travel, check my travel uh, when I'm on the way out the door. So I've got my phone in my hand, but that's it. City Mapper. A link to this app will be in the description. Or you can get more information at howtokillanhour.com. Now, for our brother podcast, I spoke to broadcaster Edith Bowman. Legend, I say. She's uh, been on all types of television and radio, pretty much. Uh, all, all the stations I can think of, pretty much, that were big and national out there. Um, we spoke about loads of great things on the How to Kill an Hour podcast, about her own podcast called Soundtracking. We spoke about her books, her TV show for Sky Arts, uh, and loads of other things. But I also asked her how she likes to kill some time, which is coming up. But before I ask her how she likes to kill some time, I asked her, hey, you got a lot on. Um, so what can we look forward to from you in the next few weeks and months? Um, I haven't got many plans at the minute, to be honest, because I am so busy at the minute with mm-hmm. the radio show and with... Um with the podcast as well you know it's still early days for that we've only been going 18 weeks um i'm hosting film 2016 next week which is a big deal for me 
Um, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm slightly terrified. It's like 28 minutes of TV, but it's like, it's going to feel like a lifetime as well as a blink, I think, in the same sentence. Mm. But I'm really excited about that. And, you know, it's really important for me just getting the balance right. You know, I'm a mum of two, uh, I'm a wife, and I, it's about making sure I get that balance right. So, mm. you know, I'm lucky enough that I'm doing the things that I want to do. Uh, and I also have a great support network that, uh, you know, really allow me to do the things I want to do. So it's about it's about the balance. I don't want to add anything else onto my plate at the minute because I'm loving what I'm doing. Good, good. That's really good to hear. And you're really busy. But when you do get a little bit of time to chill out, how do you like to kill a bit of time? Normally walking around Hampstead Heath with my headphones on or playing Star Wars with my kids. Yeah, fair enough. Star Wars is good. But how good is it walking around the Heath? I feel like it's such an under, it's like an underused place. It's Don't the, tell too many people about it because I quite like it that way. Yeah, I mean, there's the top of the, no, I won't tell anyone about <laughs> The top of the Heath's my favourite bit. But um, is there a specific area of the Heath that you like or do you like just covering no, random parts of it? I'm not going to tell you because then there'll be, yeah. <laughs> then there'll it's be masses of, masses of people it's on the Heath. my place, yeah. All right, cool. I'll take North, you take <laughs> South. And there we go. That was Edith Bowman on Marcus Meets. Uh, episode 32, if you want to check that out. There's a link in this show description which takes you right to it. But if you use whatever podcast you're listening with, just uh, type in Marcus Meets, M-A-R-C-U-S, uh, M-E-E-T-S. It's not like a carnivore podcast. It's uh, Meats, as in meat. Um, yeah, there's plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Thank you for killing some time with me, Marcus Bronzy. A new episode will be with you in your ears soon. Bless. Bless.